All right, I guess that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Hey, look! I brought myself back to life. <laughs> that res is so dumb. Yup. I'll save Zaya. Hey, she's back! Hey, look! Now I get to stay alive too. Cause I died, and then I killed not, and then I come back to life. Okay. Oh, that was so clutch. Okay. Uh, so I'll do some explaining for her kit. So all of her abilities have AP scaling. So you're going to go want to be going like AP-ish um, support builds. Um, you're not really going to want to go like full tank or AD or anything like that. Um, her passive is that she autos the enemy and then marks them. And when she autos, along with the mark, she does a percentage max off uh, magic damage. And then when the enemy ADC attacks the mark, then they also deal extra damage. It's similar to like Kalissa's W that she has. Um, the Q is a root. So if you Q and you land it, they get rooted for one second. And then you have time to toss them in any direction you want. <laughs> And if, get, if they get thrown to a champion, then they get sun for 0.5 seconds. Uh, your W is like a steroid boost. It gives them uh, attack speed and movement speed, and it ramps up when they're moving towards the enemy. Um, if they die during this, then they come back to life. But it's like a scion passive. They turn into a zombie, and they only get to stay alive for good if they kill the enemy. If they don't, then they just stay dead, right? Um, you can use this on yourself or your teammate. Your E is like a poke ability. It does damage, it slows them down, and it gives shields to you and your allies as well. And then your R is like a big, um, cloud of chemical, smoke, uh, that when it hits the enemy, they start fighting each other for 1.25 seconds at level 1. We got level 2, soon. Alright, we win that. I got my Q soonish, and my E soonish. Alright, not bad. I can actually pull Nautilus into the feathers if he gets close to me. But he's playing really far back right now. So I'm not really gonna get a, get a chance to do that yet. Give her the boost. Nice. Very good job. Yeah, so all I had to do there was just stop their recalls, slow them down a bit, and then uh, buff my Kindred with the movement speed and attack speed from my W. So she gets 10 attack speed, 10 movement speed, and it goes to 21, 21 over 5 seconds. So while the attack speed isn't anything like crazy, um, the movement speed is actually huge. 21% movement speed this early is very, very game-changing. Uh-oh. Lux, I want to save you! Oh, I don't think you need to save it, actually. Yeah, I feel bad for them. <laughs> that dive is not fun. By the way, this is a swag walk we were talking about. Like, look at this walk. It's easily one of the best walks in the game. But I notice when you get boots, the walk disappears and it turns into a different walk. It turns into like a jog, which isn't as cool, sadly. So like when you have uh, regular, regular boots, she keeps this walk. But when you get tier two, she starts to like run and it's just not as cool. It's kind of lame. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll get tier two boots just so we can keep the swag walk for the whole game. Give me the boost. Nice. She didn't need it though. 
Yeah, the one thing about her R is that it is super, super slow. I was trying to use it to CC the Nautilus, but like he just left the range quickly. So I probably won't use it for something like that ever again. So what this ultimate does is that they just start fighting each other and they gain 100% attack speed so they can try to like hurt each other more. But it's not very useful in the early game for damage because like everyone's AD is pretty low. Like, he only has 130. Okay, Jin is pretty high. Gangplank is only 100. Nautilus is only 71. Jinx is only 100, right? So, when you auto your enemy or, like, your teammate for 1.25 seconds, that's, like, one or two auto attacks. Which is nothing in early game, right? Uh, but I think the real power of this ulti is, like, late game. Where everyone's full build, everyone's one shot. So when you ulti them, they just one-shot each other. I'm gonna wait. Aw, oh, man. Alright. A little bit messy, but it worked out. How's Emacs? I think it feels a little bit better overall. Because it's way more reliable. You can get blocked really easily. But maybe in like lanes where you can land Q very easily and reliably, then you, you can max Q. But when the enemy is like hiding behind minions 24 7, he is definitely feeling better. Hey, look! I brought myself back to life. <laughs> that res is so dumb. Yup. So right now we have Swag Walk. And when we get upgrade Boots, she has this weird-ass run. So for the sake of looking cooler, we will not be getting Boots. We will be keeping our uh, regular Tier 1 Boots for Swag Walk. And full Swagger. All the drip. You know, everything. And we'll just, we'll just deal with it. No, I was about to W, but I wasn't in range. Oh, this is not good. I think Lux got the kill because I W'd her, yeah. She died during the W, came back to life as a zombie, killed Nautilus, and then um, she died again. So I got her a free kill, which is cool. Nice. Doesn't look nice for the enemy, but nice for us. Oh, I need a W for Zaya. I shouldn't use it for myself like that. Wow, there's like a lot happening. <laughs> nice. I want to stay in range with W my team in case they need help. Uh oh. No, I was going to W myself. But I wasn't quick enough. Oh, we're all dead. You know what? Uh, I think it's better that way. We don't want the game to be too easy, right guys? Because, like, the problem with W is that I don't want to use it as a simple buff, even though it would be really nice. Okay, I'm... She's res. She's res. You gotta kill something or you die forever. Yeah, I like that. I'll give Echo movement speed the chase. Yeah, maybe I'll just max W and leave Q alone. Because like I said, I want to use it as a buff just to give them movement speed and attack speed. But I feel every single time I use it, if anything happens, then I can't bring them back to life. Or like try to get the res right. Like this for example. I want to have it ready always. So I might just max W and leave Q for loss. I think that's what I'll do. I'll save Zaya. 
Hey, she's back. Yeah, so what happened there with Zaya is that she died to Gangplank Q, came back to life, and then killed the Gangplank. So now she gets to stay alive. Oh, there's a Nautilus in there. I don't like that. That's kind of spooky. Hey, look, now I get to stay alive too. Because I died, and then I killed Naw, and then I come back to life. So you can do it on yourself as well. It's really nice. Oh god, the wombo combo. I'll save Zaya here. Oh, she doesn't need saving. We're good. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think the W is going to be like the most important spell for her out of everything. It has like the most potential to turn everything. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happened. All right, I guess now we go. <laughs> that was fun. All right, no one died, but it was a lot of damage actually. Ah, oh, I saved Kindred there. Oh wait. Wait, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that works. I think you're still dead. <laughs> Um, I think if you stop autoing to die faster, you can live to kill the enemy after turning into a zombie. Yeah, I think if Kindred just stopped autoing like lifesteal and then just died and then killed um, Gangplank, I think it was Gangplank or Nautilus, then she lives, yeah. Oh, wait, I could have shielded before she died, maybe. Yeah, you're right. I I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I tried to save Laya, but she doesn't do enough damage, sadly. Yeah, so the E shields for 242 around me. And I actually forgot that. So I probably could have used that to save Kindred over here. When she was about to die, instead of using my W. Okay. Oh, that was so clutch. Okay. I see see them, and then I use W on myself so I can self-revive. And then they die, and I get to live. Wait, wait, wait. No, Baron. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Okay. You know what? I, I think my teammates are going to have to do that alone, actually. Yeah. Oh, I had, like, ten heart attacks. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. But I think my teammates win this. Yeah, they do. Probably. The box have R. Yeah, she's gonna get a good R. I think they could end there. I think Echo has the damage, right? Uh, but I think he wants to kill Jin first. Hey, GG, well played. I wonder if I do damage with my ulti. Does it count or is it their own damage? I don't think so. I think it counts as their own damage, but they did it to their team. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified on new videos. Thanks for watching.